So why does everybody want to get shredded? Is it to impress the girls, to feel more confident, or just because it looks incredible? Well, I'm going to go over the hard truth why being shredded is not as good as you may think, and it's actually a very sad and dark place. Let's rewind and start from the beginning of why I wanted to be shredded and have six pack abs. When I was a kid, growing up, I was obsessed with Superman, Batman, Spider-Man, and I wanted to have physiques like all of them. So I always had this vision of attaining a great physique, but in reality was, I didn't know the struggles that came with it. I first started my fitness journey when I was in my early 20s. I had some belly fat that I wanted to lose and I just basically wanted to get abs. I was kind of a bit self-conscious, but I just knew that changing my body would help me with my confidence a little bit. So I came across this YouTuber called Grego Gallagher. He was this Bruce Wayne type fitness influencer and I brought one of his programs and I used these methods to put me into a deficit and basically get six pack abs. I achieved some good results along the way. I managed to get the abs I wanted without restricting my diet too much. Within the start of the year, I set out a new goal. I wanted to compete for the first time. I wanted to get stage lean and get shredded. So that way I could push my body to limits that hasn't been done before. This meant putting myself in a very, very uncomfortable state. During this process, I've learned a few things and I wanted to share with you guys that it's not all sunshine and rainbows. Let's start with the food. If you're like me and you love your food, being shredded is simply not the one. I know there's people out there of genetics and their body just burns it up and they just don't put on the weight like some of us do, but if you're like me, you have to sacrifice the good foods to get really, really shredded. So this means basically not going out for food when your friends ask you to do so, not just grabbing a snack when you can, and you have to be precise with all the foods you eat. So that means counting your calories. Now, I don't know about that, but implementing your calories in every day through your phone can be quite tedious. And sometimes we just want to you know, we just want to just eat what we want. I believe in a more balanced diet where clean and healthy foods are crucial, but if someone asks you to go out for a meal or you want a snack, do so. I find this type of diet a lot more better. You can go out and enjoy a lot more, more, you're not restricted, and you just feel good at the same time. Let's talk about the training. Now, being shredded, this is going to have a massive impact on your training, okay? I know there's a lot of athletes out there where they're super shredded and they're lifting these heavy weights. Well, I'm just gonna say it guys, a lot of these guys are on enhancers. Therefore, the body is able to obtain this shredded look and still be strong. Now, if you're like me or the other natural athletes or the everyday person out there, this is very hard to obtain. Your body's naturally gonna be in a deficit from being shredded. Therefore, there's more calories out, you're eating less calories, and there you're gonna be weak exhausted and it's going to be tough okay <laughs> all alongside all these things your training is going to take a massive hit it's very hard to stay on top of your training and be shredded at the same time next up relationships okay now this is going to be an important one when you're shredded your hormones are going to be right down okay you are generally pushing your body the limits to get shredded okay you're trying to take off all the fat off your body to really, really get skin tight shredded. Now, naturally, again, as if for naturals, your testosterone is gonna go all the way down and your hormones are gonna be all over the place. Now, this is going to affect a lot of things. It's gonna affect your friendships. It's gonna affect your relationships, okay? It's not gonna help anyone because you wanna put yourself in a box away from everyone and just have robot mode and just be you. Now, again, this is generally not for everyone, okay? Not everyone goes through this. I, you know, this. I understand there's some people that just ease through being shredded and have a great life, but I'm just saying for the majority of people, when you're pushing your body to these type of limits, these are the side effects that do come along with it. And to top it all off, your is not gonna work. No, it's not like that for everyone, but in some cases, it is true. Your body just wants to eat. So I came to the conclusion, if being shredded is not all that great, what should we aim for? Beach body lean. Not only will you look good, you'll have the confidence, girls will notice you more, and your performance is gonna be good in the gym. 
I found out being beach body lean, I was good mentally, I was able to obtain a good physique, my abs were visible, and I felt good in the gym. This was the sweet spot for me. So guys, if you're out there and you're looking to get shredded, like your favorite influencer or bodybuilder, remember, it comes with sacrifices. So my advice to you is aim to get lean first, and if you really, really wanna challenge yourself, then try get shredded. I hope this information has helped you guys. If you don't mind dropping a like, I'm gonna try aim for 100, so it would mean the world if we hit that. Other than that guys, thanks for watching. Joshua Nicole out.